one encounter with favor is worth much more than a lifetime of labor. One. One encounter with favor is worth much more than a lifetime of favor. Can you imagine the day that Nehemiah would have saved enough money to go and rebuild the walls of Jericho, the walls of Jerusalem? Where will he get the army from? Which army will go and guide? A cop bearer, a domestic staff. But one day of favor made a king out of a captive. The king gave him letters to the kings on the way because he's the king of those kings. <laughs> give him wood. How many do you want? 30 tons. Give him 30 tons of wood. Uh, commander in chief, give him soldiers. How many do you want? 300. One day of favor is worth much, much more than a lifetime of labor. What to see us enjoy in this commission is favor. Yes. What is it? Favor. What is it? Favor. For they go not the land by their own power. Their own arm didn't save them, but their right hand and their, the right hand of their arm because you have a favor unto them. Favor, favor. And it stems out of tireless kingdom advancement and divorce. Seek ye first my kingdom, and all these things shall be added to you for free. Now, I decree the release of that grace upon everyone's life here today. Yeah. I've never shared any form of discouragement with my wife all these years. That you see the way they are talking about me. I'm just enjoying it. You see, this work is becoming a bit, it's not becoming anything. I'm just enjoying myself. Amen. Amen. I work every day, including Sunday. Amen. Amen. And I'm enjoying it. Grace for tireless engagement. Because some people are now up, 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 the only fasting from next month. Are you going to church? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, the fair finish. Just one week after. Fair finish. Tireless commitment to kingdom advancement and divorce brings believers into favor with God. What your labor of a lifetime cannot accomplish, favor brings it for free one day. One day. One day. That's your one day is come today. I ask myself, all the times I've gone on the mountain to pray, what have you been praying? You know, I asked myself a lot of funny questions. And I looked at it. I never prayed for promotion once. I never prayed for give me work, give me suit, give me time. I've never prayed for a house. I've never prayed for a house in my life. Is it wrong? No. I just knew a little better that when I seek these things, all those things will be added to me. Now, this year will be your year of supernatural addition. Hey, hey. Don't get me wrong. There is nothing wrong with asking for those things. Yes, sir. But I'm saying there is a better way yes, that gets those things added to you. Yes, and when God, what God asks to you is far, far greater than what you can ever ask. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, about all that you can ever ask or think. Solomon never asked for riches. He added it to him. There's no way Solomon will ask for that level of riches. He added it to him. That is beyond what you can ask or think. It's what God asks. That's what God asks. That's what God asks. Amen. Amen. Have you seen us cry for money in this church? The brethren, you need to give. You should know. We are building 10,000 churches. And you are looking at me like that. Give. <laughs> you stand up. 
Your own is 20 million. 20, 20 million. Say 20 million. Amen. Amen. Well, no more stress in your life. <laughs>